the instructional guide. Now, this is the guide that was originally created. And um, because of um, your insights, Laura, um, we decided to do some repackaging. None of this information was changed. This information is all the same information that uh, we had originally. Um, we just uh, wanted to make it more um, accessible to you and your students. And we understand that there are lots of teachers with lots on their plate, and we just wanted to be able to um, grab it for you real quickly. So here's that digital citizenship um, presentation that um, you suggested that you might have had difficulty with. This is um, the first slide. Um, none of these links are, none of these are active. These are all active. If you were to hit them, you see where they go and you can follow them. But this slide right here is for teachers only pretty much. Um, this next slide is one that you would use with your students. If I, um, I'm not in um, presentation mode, I'm just in the um, mode for, um, um, the creation aspect of it. The presenter mode is um, up here. Uh, no, no, the slideshow right here. Um, but I just wanted to work here because for me it's faster. Um, if you click this graphic and follow the link, it will launch this um, digital footprint video that talks to your students about what a, a digital footprint is. And then there's a guided activity here that you could do with your students should you choose to on the board. Um, this is a similar kind of um, idea. Here is the um, curated lives video. And, and oh, actually this is a web page, excuse me. And so when you go to this web page, this is from Common Sense Education, and this is an entire lesson plan video. It has slides, everything that you need, a handout, teacher version, a quiz, everything that you need in order to um, get this idea of what um, curated lives and how a social media presence does it really represent the real me. So the uh, discussion with your kids about um, um, that kind of reality versus um, what's real and what's not um, could occur because um, yearbooks also um, have a social media presence. And it's um, uh, something that is, uh, I think a, it, it's a good idea for um, yearbook staffs to be aware of because they're going to be curating what that social media presence looks like. So here is another um, guided activity. This is not a video here. As you can see, there's no link that you could go to. But uh, here are some um, ideas that you might be able to do with your kids um, in order to um, see about curated presence um, with um, yearbook social media presences with not only your school in previous years, but um, neighboring schools or competing schools around you. See what has been going on. For an example, um, um, in one area that I taught, there was a big um, to-do uh, with a school, a high school that um, got into a little bit of trouble. And this is a curious um, piece of trouble, but it made the news. And so it was all over the place. A lot of people had a lot of feelings about it. There was a memorial page to a, a student who had died. And that page in the yearbook um, was pulled by the school district um, because they had a policy that um, no memorial pages, not to students, not to teachers, were to be a part of the yearbook. Well, it caused a, a big problem. And so the social media presence uh, regarding that yearbook um, was um, a, a, a real interesting one to watch um, evolve for that year. So it, it your books really do um, spark a lot of um, uh, passion. So um, continuing, this is um, another um, launch to another um, um, page about hate speech. And the reason why I, I thought this might be good for teachers to utilize, and again, it's from um, the um, digital citizenship with um, common sense education. I thought this might be good. Here's the video and everything that you would have available to you, including a, um, a lesson quiz, some family activities. I mean, they have a lot of stuff here, but um, 
in yearbooks, uh, kids are really clever. They're very, very clever and they like to push boundaries. And sometimes in um, quotes, um, whether it is a senior quote or a quote for a story that is included in a caption or in the body of a story that's included in um, the uh, a two page spread, uh, kids can um, insert things that are a kind of difficult. So um, knowing what hate speech is, knowing um, what innuendos are, knowing what um, um, oh, symbol use is, um, like um, um, another incident that occurred at a high school that I did teach at, um, Peppy the Frog used um, started um, peering everywhere on our campus, and and that's a um, a symbol of white um, nationalist, and um, it was a, a very controversial kind of situation that had to be handled, and and um, that made it into the student newspaper. So it didn't go into the yearbook, but it certainly um, caused a lot of energy and um, that can be good and bad. But um, here's another a video. This has a little quiz. It's all about digital etiquette. How should we talk to each other via um, the kinds of communication that is available to us, um, i.e. email, text, and um, posts that you can make on social media. So what should that look like from the team? And then um, you all can work. This is a um, guided activity that you would do with your students. You would work together in small groups to um, um, uh, codify or make a protocol for how um, the communication will flow from your classroom to the greater community. So um, you want to be on top of that because um, that reflects on your staff, it reflects on you, it reflects on the yearbook, and ultimately it reflects on the school. This one is about copyright now. I included this especially because um, we, with the advent of AI, and that is so um, um, intense right now, especially on um, my threads with um, teacher groups, uh, the idea of original work is um, a big, big concern. So um, each of these things talks about original work. We live in a copy and paste society. We want to move kids away from doing that and, and um, getting their own thinking in their own words out there. And um, these um, are, this is the copyright.gov so that they can actually see that, oh my goodness, there is a real office about that. And then this is, um, um, a, a video about what's up with the copyright anyways. You um, might want to show that so that, and it's kind of a lively short every, most of these are very, very short um, uh, so that um, student attention doesn't drift too much. I do recommend that you might um, use these lessons from copyright and creativity, lesson A, lesson B, and lesson C, and they are all there for you. Let me just click here so we can see so here's it's a high school curriculum and then here are the lessons here's lesson a lesson b and lesson c and you can click on those and get um everything that you need for that um, um copy and i said that provides the lesson plans and materials video links la 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 um, here is a giving um, credit presentation. This is um, one that um, we have uh, created, and it's learning how to give appropriate credit where credit is due. And um, that, again, uh, helps to combat the idea of the copy and paste society in which we live. And then um, all through this, uh, you can um, um, work with kids either you can either launch Creative Commons in your class or you can um, click on the image. Now, if you are real familiar with Creative Commons, you can just go ahead and teach the um, main points um, of um, giving credit from that website. But if you want to teach it from this presentation, you can do that as well. So like I said, you can either launch it and teach from it or you can um, continue to um, teach using this presentation and it, it tells you exactly what to do what 
what you might want to say. Here are other links that you could um, go to so that you can um, make sure that they understand the licensing and what that all means and what you have to include when you um, work with um, um, giving appropriate credit. Everything has been researched. And I provide a um, bibliography. It is um, the same bibliography, sometimes a little bit different um, from the um, bibliography that I provide in um, the curriculum and resources um, instructional guide. But it will um, um, it, it 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 provides you with um, some jumping off points, so that if you wanted to um, um, do further work in any of those, um, you could. Um, so I'd like to stop sharing for a moment and see what questions you might have. 